Zero Knight Six is one of the most known and popular characters in the entire SCP franchise. He is well known in SCP Secret Laboratory as being one of the most frustrating SCPs to play against. However, the SCP Scopophobia update unleashed a completely new version of Zero Knight Six. We were told that he was going to get reworked, not that he was going to become God itself for the entire game. Now instead of wasting your time and just giving you stories and stuff, I'm just going to get right to the point and give you the 9 reasons why 96 needs to be nerfed. Oh wait, can, let, let me try that again. The 9 reasons why 096 needs to be nerfed. Yeah, I like that. that. That'll work a lot better. My first reason why I believe 96 should be nerfed is because his enrage range has gone increasingly overpowered. And by enrage range, I mean how far do you have to be to trigger 96? And to test this, we put 096 on the very base of the gate B walkway where the helicopter spawns. And we slowly walked up to 096 and see how far it took for him to actually get triggered. And it turned out to be about 6, 6, 5 lines. And we did the same exact test on the beta version. And wouldn't you know it, 096 gets triggered from the gate. I can't even measure the lines. He gets triggered from the gate itself. How is that fair? I can't even do anything about that. The other 96, at least it was okay. If you get close to him, you can run away and shoot at him if you run far enough. With this 96, it's kind of broken because I can't even shoot at him without him getting triggered because his range is just too high. A second reason why, which is something everyone knows about, is how long he stays enraged for. The normal 96 stays enraged for about, I believe, 10 or so seconds, while the beta 96 gets enraged for 15 seconds. Now, usually, if that was it, I wouldn't really mind. I would say, alright, I guess that's pretty fair, he gets mad for longer. But he gets enraged even longer for every person that looks at him. Now, I'm not gonna go into detail about it, but Pretty much every other person that looks at him, he gains 5 seconds. For example, if only one person looked at him, he gets enraged for 15 seconds. If 20 people look at him, he gets enraged for about 1 minute. And that's just kind of unfair. If it was capped at like 30 seconds, I would say, alright, that's pretty, that's pretty nice, that's pretty fair. But to be a minute long is kind of just absolutely dumb, and it's really gotta stop. A third reason why I think 96 needs to be nerfed is because he has too much health. In the normal version, it takes 3 chaos guns about 6 seconds to kill him. While in the beta version, it takes about 3 chaos guns also 6 seconds to kill him. And you're probably wondering, okay, that's there's nothing really wrong with that. However, for every person that looks at 96 and for every person he kills, he gains health. So in this example, we just had him stand still. But in an actual fight, he's probably going to be killing people while you're shooting at him, which keeps increasing his health, making it almost impossible to kill the beta version of 096, which is why everyone just runs away from him. No one fights back anymore. And that's kind of hard to fight an SCP when your entire team won't fight back because they're scared. Reason number four is because of how he gets triggered frame by frame. And what I mean by this is we spun around in a circle, looking at him for exactly one or two frames at a time, to see how many spins does it take to trigger 096. Now for the normal version, it took, I believe, 8 spins in order to trigger him, which is, I guess, understandable, it's just a quick little spin. However, the beta version of 096, you wouldn't believe it, it took 1 spin to trigger 096. And if that's not broken, I really don't know what is. The fact that he can kill you after one flick of a mouse doesn't really make anyone happy. It's kind of just saddening too. Because a lot of the time when you're playing a 096, you don't even notice who triggered you. For example, on this clip when I was 096, I was just walking down the hallway, minding my business, and this random guy walked past me. And all of a sudden, I got enraged and I started, I was looking around like, what? Huh? Who enraged me? So that they really gotta change how fast he gets enraged frame by frame, because I really don't understand how overpowered that is. A fifth reason why 096 needs to be nerfed is because it's just how fast he gets triggered in general. Now, what I mean by this is when you look at 096, how long does it take for him to get into an enraged state? On the normal version, it takes 2 to 3 seconds for him to fully get enraged and to attack people. While the beta version, it takes a single second for him to get into enrage mode. So not only do you only have to flick your mouse at him, it takes him one second to get into enrage mode. So there's no escape just by flicking your mouse at him for a single second. And it's not very fun to play against an SCP that you can't avoid. And no one really likes that. That's not very enjoyable. At least what I think. Reason number six is that his walk speed got increasingly faster. So it turns out that 096's walk speed does not change at all. And I only noticed this in the editing. So I would like to say that I'm wrong. It's actually eight reasons why 96 needs to be nerfed and not nine. I apologize. I'm sorry for the little misdirection and I will try my best to not be dumb next time. All right, cool. All right, let's, let's continue. 
Reason number seven is that his run speed is completely broken. On the normal version, we tested it out from the Chaos Tunnel all the way back to the helicopter spawn for MTF to see how long does it take or at least how far can he go. And for both versions, he reaches about the same exact point. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up as one of the points is because we didn't use his right click. In this clip, we used his right click ability, which is his lunge, I believe. He just runs really fast in a direction. He like charges at people. With the right click, he goes farther than the bounds of the map itself. So his run speed is the exact same, but with this new ability of being able to charge, it goes farther than we can literally measure it. And that's not counting the fact that he can kill people while running at them now. And I just don't think that's very fair, because now we can't even try to outrun him. Before, it was a chance that you can maybe outrun him if you're lucky, but now with this new ability, it's just, there's no point. If you get enraged by him, you might as well just give up and take the death, because he will catch up to you. He just moves way too fast. Reason number eight, his jump height. Now, jump height is something that everyone laughs at. Like, who cares about how high he jumps, right? It's not a big deal. But you'd be surprised how big of a deal it makes when 096 jumps 10 times higher than he's supposed to. In the normal version, 096 jumps about, eh, an inch. And when he's in rage, he jumps about maybe three inches off. 096, when he's normal, jumps about, I would say, one inch. However, when he's in rage, he jumps higher than the wall that we use to measure him. Now, I don't know how high that really is, but I would say it's way higher than the normal version. Like, whoa, that's a that's a big change. That's that's enormous. And your first reaction is, oh, that's not a big change. Oh, he could jump higher. Oh, that's fun. No, like you'd be surprised because when you're trying to shoot 9-6 and he's jumping higher than you can physically see him, it makes it 10 times harder to actually fight against them. So the fact that he can run super damn fast and jump extremely high makes it impossible to actually combat 9-6. You're better off just running and praying because there's no way you're going to survive even killing him. And the final ninth reason that I think he needs to be nerfed is because his attack range got increasingly overpowered. In the normal version, 9-6 had to be literally on top of you to kill you. And I thought that was pretty pretty fair. You know, he has to be literally on you in order to kill you. The Peanut is the same way, and Plague Doctor and Larry are both the same exact way. And I thought that was pretty fair that someone who can move super fast has to be literally on you to kill you. The beta version of 096 has an insane amount of range. He doesn't have to be close to you to kill you because he has these long arms that just swing at you. And I'm pretty sure it also has an AoE effect. While before, you only have to be right in front of him, the beta version actually hits with like a swipe, so he can kill multiple people in a single swipe. But his range is just, that alone is completely unfair. But his attack range in general being increased is very, very difficult to deal with. Because you not only can he not outrun him anymore, but even if he tried, he was probably going to be able to hit you before you're able to juke him out. The normal version of 096, you can juke him out if you were skilled enough because, you know, he has a very small hit attack box. And if he just jumped away from him, you can actually, you know, you could survive. While the beta version of 96, now that he has this super long attack range and his AoE swipe range, it's impossible to juke out 96. So while before it was fun to challenge 96 in a juking contest, it is now almost impossible to even avoid him. So what we learned in this video is that 096 used to be a very fun SCP to fight against and very interesting to play as, but now he's just this unstoppable force that no one wants to take down because everyone is too scared to do it. And even if you have a team of people, they all just get wiped out because of all these little abilities and buffs he has. And that's why 096 should be nerfed. And before you go, I want to show you this quick little clip. This is actually extremely funny. 096 actually doesn't get triggered from behind anymore. This is this is a big deal. <laughs> like, whoa. In the normal version, 096 gets triggered just by looking at him for like three seconds, like we discussed in one of the little numbers. However, in the beta version, he doesn't get triggered from behind. Now that's that's really cool. Of course, it's, it doesn't make a difference at all because 96 just turns around and that's it. You're dead. Who like he he doesn't care. He's just gonna turn around. But I think we can all appreciate the little detail that the game developers put. That if you don't look at his face, then he doesn't get triggered. Seriously, 096 has to be nerfed. I I swear to God, I'm gonna start crying and having mental breakdowns every time I fight him if he doesn't get changed. It's just, I, I don't understand. I, I'm sorry. If you like this, watch my other videos because A, I need the views. 
B, I need the views, and C, I need the I I I I uh, I I want the views. Okay, that that's just that's just. One. But I put a lot of work and effort in my other videos, and I would really appreciate it if you check those out as well. So thank you again so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Oh, and one more thing, if you think Knight 6 shouldn't be nerfed and that he's fine, that's fine. You know, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Even if your opinion is completely wrong, that's the whole point of an opinion, right? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cool? We cool? Okay, cool.